happy Halloween, good morning. My thumb now broke. I just woke up and it's gone. So, don't know what happened. We love that for Halloween itself. I lost my gems earlier and now I lost my thumb. We got a Halloween flash tattoo the other day. If you guys missed that video, I'll link it up above. But today is actually Halloween. It is literally the 31st. And I have a tattoo appointment scheduled today uh, in Cleveland. And I'm going to dress up because fuck it. It's COVID. There's nothing better to do. And it's a pretty simple costume if I can pull it off. I don't know if I can, but we're going to try. If you guys are curious to know, I'm going to be cosplaying as Coraline. Very mild Coraline because I don't have a raincoat or anything. So, and now I don't have my thumbnail. Cosplay on. But you know your girl isn't done yet. I bought this other shit. Might as well wear it. You got necklaces. And the hair clip. I'm going to transfer my face and be right back. Okay, I finished. This is the look for today. I like it. I wasn't going to do eyeshadow because it's Coraline, but my face just looked absolutely terrible. We did a very simple look. I kind of had it go up a little bit to make me look a little younger. And then I didn't put anything on my lower lash line except for mascara because I also think that that makes me look a little younger. And I have my Coraline earrings in, and I have my dragonfly hair clip, and I got my key ready for my entry to my tattoo appointment, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm going to take some cute pictures to post on Instagram, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram for some cute Coraline-esque uh, Halloween pictures. Hi, I have an appointment today at 3.30, and I forgot to ask when I booked it if you guys were cash only or if you accept card. Uh, with Ashley? Yes. <laughs> you take both? Okay, perfect. That's all I needed to know. I'll see you at 3.30. Thank you so much. Bye. Either or. I was like, I have a tattoo today. <laughs> and she was like, oh, with me? And I was like with Ashley and she's like yep that's me and I was like okay <laughs> they're all so bubbly I love it but she said they take both Mackenzie's gonna take my picture for me so I can post it <laughs> She loves the camera. A few moments later. Just got done with my tattoo. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but good experience. I just want to film in the bathroom real quick because they have these cute light or uh, cute eyes and this really cute witch projector. So cute. Three hours later. Okay, so it is like 
8 p.m. We're back home. I changed my shirt into something festive for tonight. Um, I would love to sleep in like my Halloween nightgowns, but I don't want to be spewing all over my bed. So, yeah, that's what we're not going to do today. But I needed to get unready, and I thought that I could just talk to you guys about my experience going to the shop, where the shop's at if anybody wants to go, and um, cleaning my tattoo. Typically, if y'all know me with my regular guy, I um, don't clean my tattoo for 48 hours, but I got wrapped with gauze, and I haven't been wrapped with gauze, Jesus, probably for at least 14, 16 months. So, I am... Hey guys. Oh my god. Do you know where my, um, wrap is? Your Reynolds wrap? My Sensiderm. If you've been tattooed enough, you should know what your body likes and what it doesn't like. And my body likes Sensiderm. So I'm gonna put Sensiderm on it. So I'm gonna have to clean it. I can't really show you guys because I'm gonna be in my underwear, but... I gotta clean it and I'm gonna put a piece of wrap on it instead because it is burning like a motherfucker. Babe? What? Is there a Clorox wipe roll in there? Probably not. There should be behind the desk. I, I need it to dry my tattoo. You need a Clorox wipe? Paper towel! Paper towel! Oh. There was a roll of paper towel right here. It's a Clorox wipe. I didn't fucking mean that. <laughs> so I was like... Tattoo shop. Super cute. Super clean. I really liked it. Staff. Funny. Cute. Adorable. Friendly. Loved them. Wasn't allowed to film. Respect that. The artist I chose was talented. Really good taste in pop culture and stuff too. Pricing. Moderate. I mean, for what I got, I don't know if it was expensive or not. I don't know how much my guy would charge in comparison, so I don't know. I don't really have much to go off of, but it was it was a good experience. It was quick. This tattoo took probably maybe 25 minutes, 30 minutes. She was heavy-handed, I would say, compared to who I usually see. He's very light-handed and but she wasn't as heavy as some other people I've had. They like carve. She just, you know, was heavier than what I'm used to. Brandon! This is my man that complains when I film. And he's in there playing Pokemon. But yeah. wants me to keep filming. I'm gonna leave that in for my mom to see. <laughs> Overall experience, um, going there I would say was like 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10 in terms of like staff and being friendly and welcoming and cleanliness and precaution. Like they didn't want us in the lobby at all. They didn't want anybody sitting on the chairs. They made us use hand sanitizer when we entered. Had to have a mask on. Um, we weren't allowed to like have people with us. Like it was only allowed to be us. So Mackenzie went and got pierced while I got my tattoo. Um, so they were like super, super cautious and everything. And I just think it was a good experience. If anybody's wondering, it was $100. Um, and there was tax. So it was like a uh, 108, and then I tipped. Oh, so it ended up being like I think $130 after my tip. It just worked out was because she was dressed as the other mother from Coraline. On her flash that she posted, posted like this hand holding a button and it made me think of Coraline. I was like, oh my god, I've been wanting to get a Coraline tattoo, like the Coraline key or something. 
and she gave me a great idea. I told her, you know, could you do the Coraline key? And she was like, yeah, I can. And I was like, sick. And then she said that she was going dressed as the other mother and that she'd be in her costume. And it was so cool. She had these um, custom like buttons made for her eyes and they were made out of like um, the same material that they use for like sunglasses, like a plexiglass or whatever. And she had a friend that had a machine that like cut them custom for her, which is like so cool. She didn't have them on when she was tattooing though. She put them on afterwards though and she looked really dope. It was cute. She was really cute. I wish she could have talked more, but it was kind of just awkward because you know, I was laying down on my stomach and I wasn't really facing her. So she was cute. It was nice. I really liked it. I will have her linked down below if you guys want to go ahead and check her out and follow her as well as all the shops info if anybody's in the Cleveland area wants to go. They're being super cautious, but it is appointment only. So you have to call and schedule an appointment. And they are still doing piercing, but they're not doing facial piercings because I wanted one and they said that they're not doing them right now. I couldn't get that done. Totally respect it though. Again, like I'm not complaining. Like it's all respectable actions and like precautions that they're taking, which is like crazy, like awesome. If you guys want to see my other video, I have to finish it. I'll probably finish it tomorrow and do like a story time and stuff at the end like this. Um, I'll link it up above because it'll be up before this one probably. I'm happy. I'm running out of room. Like I really didn't think I was. I was like, I still have room. But then, you know, I got two tattoos and I was like, where am I supposed to put these? Like, you know, I just have like big canvas spaces that I obviously want for like bigger intricate pieces and not like little things. And I'm just like, wow, I really don't have any good space for this stuff. It was cute. It was fun. I wish I could have got pictures with her, but I don't even know if she acknowledged or like saw that I was dressed like that. She might have just like not thought nothing of it. Don't forget to subscribe for more vlogs coming in the future. Couldn't tell you when though. I will see you guys again very very soon. Hopefully you guys had a fun and safe Halloween and I love you. Peace out Girl Scouts.